So in this video we're going to talk about the savings uh, uh, that this system can provide. So as we said in the other video, this is a 20 kilowatt system with about uh, 28 kilowatt peak. Kilowatt peak means the power rating of the panels. So it means that we have, uh, is it 56 panels, something like that. But we have many different power ratings on our panels because we have modified our system so many times. But on a normal system with this inverter, uh, you will have between 50 and 60 panels uh, if you're gonna maximize the output that uh, the system can do. And uh, that will be around 30 kilowatt peak or a little bit more even. So with that uh, configuration, the system can give uh, electricity equal to 14, 15,000 baht of savings per month with uh, these batteries. But what is important is that it's not equal daytime and nighttime use. Uh, so depending on how many batteries you have, of course, uh, the amount of nighttime use you can save uh, is different. So we're going to take this uh, setup as an example. So each battery has 8.2 kilowatt hours and you would use about seven of those kilowatt hours every night. So then you're up to 28 kilowatt hours that you can use every night because you don't want to discharge them all the way down because that reduces the lifetime of them. So you want to have a little bit left. So about seven is quite normal. It's what we recommend. So with that, you're going to be saving a little bit more than 4,000 of the nighttime use uh, each month. So of those 14, 15,000, four or a little bit more, like four to four and a half thousand is in nighttime. Now, normally people have less use of electricity in nighttime. So that sort of makes sense. No, not even sort of, it makes sense to have it like that. But this system can take up to six batteries. So if you want to fill up more of the nighttime use, then you can do that. Or you can do the other way and have less. Then the nighttime save savings will be, will be less. And that's also, you can do whatever you want according to the investment that you want because the more batteries that you have the more expensive obviously is the, is the system and the batteries are the most expensive part of the system so if you want to make make a smaller investment and have good uh, big uh, daytime use you can have less batteries so so but uh, let's use this setup as an example where the nighttime use is around four and a half thousand baht uh, and total savings 14 15 thousand baht so then we can start thinking about what would you need um, uh, of uh, usage per year or how many years does it take before you have payback of the system so if we think savings about 180,000 baht per year, you are looking at a bit more than seven years before you have payback of the whole system. Now, these batteries, they actually have a lifetime of 10,000 cycles, and that is way more than 20 years. So that actually means that you will triple and quadruple your money. And the inverter is the most sensitive part of the system. So over the lifetime of the system, you might have to change that one time maybe. But the payback is still enormously good compared to the lifetime of the system. The maintenance is very little. The panels have 15 years warranty. Uh, so, and the lifetime of panels, normally in the industry, we say much more than 20 years. So you're looking at an easy triple, maybe quadruple, uh, of the invested money and of course not only do you save money but you also have power during power cuts so it's not only a good investment it's also an investment in in the luxury you might say feature of having power during power cuts uh, but for some that's more important than others if you some people have a disease that if you have a power cut it's a big problem especially in thailand when it's so hot 
and others work. So for them it's incredibly important to have power during power cuts. So you have that uh, function in addition to the savings. So obviously when you look at the reasons people get big solar systems uh, for residential is of course to as an investment to save money. But it's important to, to understand that with battery systems you have much more than the monetary savings. So, but six and a half years for a system like this is unbelievably good. It just shows how the industry has improved and how good it is now to invest even in battery systems. Uh, so, this has improved even the last six months. It's uh, improved. And if you look at just a few years back, uh, the improvement has been a lot. Uh, like a few years ago, most battery systems have payback of about 10 years, 10, 11 years. But now with these systems, uh, it's uh, much less. Now, obviously, you have to have very high electrical use to be able to get this payback with this kind of system. If you have 10 kilowatts, your payback is going to be longer. So this is just one example uh, of a very good payback. Uh, but you can also get good payback with 10 kilowatt, little bit less batteries. You can have seven, eight years of payback uh, with the battery system. So it is very good, um, even that. But once you get up to 20 kilowatt, uh, the payback uh, and the investment gets even better. So. That's a little overview of, uh, of the... We also have videos about return on investment where I discuss that more in depth. So you can take a look at that both for battery systems and non-battery systems. So uh, for those m more interested in that. But it's, it's the most important to understand is the savings in nighttime in relation to daytime. That is what I would like to highlight uh, today. That's really important to understand. Okay, now guys, take it easy.